always a big concern about what is the best fire starter to carry with you in your bug out bag, get home bag, um, crap hit the fan. So we've got two mason jars of water here. In this one, we have a light my fire ferro rod. In this one, we have a new gas station Bic lighter. So they've been in there for roughly 30 minutes or so. So we're gonna start with the ferro rod. And give it a little drying off here. Got a cotton ball. So we'll see if right out of the water, a little bit of drying, we can get a fire going. Yep. Okay, so that thing's been in the water for about 30 minutes. Now we are going to pull this big lighter out. Give it a good shake. <clears throat> Try to get it dried off. All right. Well, <laughs> okay, this is a brand new Bic lighter. It even, I could have got blue, red, any of those colors. Uh, I picked this one because it said off the grid, so I thought that might give it a, a little bit more go juice. Now, I still recommend people to carry a Bic lighter, but if your bag gets wet, if you are saturated and soaked, a Light My Fire Fire Steel will always work. It doesn't matter. If conditions are great, a Bic lighter is super simple. But if conditions aren't great, Go with the ferro rod. The Light My Fire was the very first thing that we ever gave away on this channel. Uh, it's personally my favorite. I've got a ton of them. I have them in every bag I have. I always have one with me. Anyway, for this video here, uh, there is a little gadget. I got this off Amazon, and it is a necklace with a little ferro rod and a striker. And whoever can put the best tip, just any tip, uh, wilderness survival, urban survival, bug in survival, bug out survival, anything, any good tip, something to keep in your bag, uh, a little trick that nobody knows, it might help somebody out. Anybody with the best comment on this video, I am going to send you one of these. So, Anyway, carry a ferro rod, carry a Bic lighter, but if they are soaked, the ferro rod's always going to work. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe.